I don't even see it. I, I dripped from my steak at home, and so I'm wearing a tie. So you don't know about the grease that I just told you about. This is your legislators at work. Anyway, I want to also real quick acknowledge that you are in my town, Kaiser. And I don't know if you heard about there's something called In and Out here. <laughs> we saw the line on the way here. It was insane. You know, you, you went right through the line. Was, no, it was, it was great. Quiet. Here's the key. A as a Kaiserite, away. and we call ourselves Kaiserites here. Uh, don't go to the drive up. You'll be there two, three hours. Yeah. Just walk in. You'll walk right in. You'll get your food in 20 minutes. You'll be done. It's, it's great. Don't worry about it. I want to introduce the guy. I want to have him stand up. A little while ago, where, where'd James go? James, where'd you go? James, put your hand. Stand up, will you? James Hutches is a Kaiser Chamber member. He gave the pledge earlier. And he is a very important guy in Kaiser. So, you know. He's also a voter of mine, so, you know. Where you James? Okay, so this is a great night. You know, um, how many, you know, Senator Bowles asked earlier about how many people were new and all that. I, I kind of want to do a backwards thing. So what I remember is back around March of 2009, Glenn Beck did something called the 912 program. How many people were at the 912 event at the Salem Red Lion? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now the reason that's important is they're still here. There's so many of you are new to this process and what's going on. But in 2009, Glenn Beck did a radio show and then he did an evening thing and we did a big event. And we, we, it started what became the Tea Party. Now how many were at the rally in 2010 at the state capitol? Look around. Now the sad thing is, there's not that many people left. But the good news is, there are some people left. That was, and no disrespect at all to Timber Unity, but that was still the hugest single rally in Oregon State Capitol history. There was somewhere between 75 and 9,000 people at the Capitol. What were they complaining about? T, tax enough already. Now, do you remember what drove that? Measures 66 and 67. How, how soon we forget? It was a 250, if you made $250,000 or more, you got a tax. If you made $125,000 or more, you got a tax. The legislature passed it and it went to the ballot and it passed. And that's what started the revolt that became the Tea Party rallies of 2010. And does anybody know what happened in the Oregon House in 2010, November? Say it, Lindsay. Say it. We tied it 30-30. Gee, look, wait a minute. That was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, and look at you. Look at you. 10 years ago, people rose up and said, I am taxed enough already. Now we have broadened that beyond tax. We're talking about medical freedom. We're talking about timber unity. We're talking about all kinds of different subjects and matters that have brought this diverse group together into this room. Do you know about two weeks ago there was 88 people signed up for this? Look around. Oops. We were going to be in this one little room over here. And now we have the whole chamber, the whole building at the Civic Center. So what I'm trying to say to you is get fired up because that's what this night is about. This night is about celebrating one. Celebrating everybody that got involved in 2019 in this session and are ready to get involved in 2020 and are ready to get involved in the election of 2020. That's what this is, a celebration, but it's also motivation. It's motivation to what can I do to make a difference in 2020 so that, doggone it, we win some seats, we win some races, we make a difference. We did it 10 years ago. And look, as I said, how many people are not here you have to take the mantle now and run with it. So that's what I wanted to tell you about tonight. I want to recognize real quick, not that they are any more important than anybody here. And I'll tell you, I know every single one of them that I'm going to mention, and they would tell you the same thing. I want to ask that our elected officials, whether they be city councilors, county commissioners, water board, fire board, school board, State representative, state senator, if the governor's here, great, she can stand too. <laughs> I invited her, I invited her, I invited her, she just, she 
said no. <laughs> but you know, she's nice. She's only about that big. Have you ever noticed that? Have you ever walked up to her? She's about that big. You walk up there and she's all nice and everything. She's really nice. She goes, oh, baby, say the post. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. How are you? And so, anyway. If you're an elected official, would you please stand for just one moment, please? I want to recognize everybody here in this talk. If you're a candidate, would you please stand? Let everybody see you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for running. That is awesome. All right. Now, one more thing I want to mention. On your table, you'll notice a jar uh, filled with some purple stuff. Confetti. What is that purple stuff, by the way? Confetti. It's purple paper confetti. It's paper confetti. Okay. It, okay. Now, here's what it's about. I want to tell you what it's about. Please consider donating to the charity that we have selected tonight for all proceeds from tonight's event. The jar on your table and a note card with a QR code. What the heck is a QR code? Okay. Funny anyway, it, it's, it's high-tech stuff. You apparently use this thing and you snap a picture and you do whatever. But if you're old-fashioned like me, just write it down or something. <laughs> you know, just write a check. Um, you can donate directly online from your phone. I guess that's what the QR code's all about. It is Connections 365. They are a local nonprofit. They've been serving Oregon foster care children for over 30 years. They provide all youth in therapeutic foster care with counseling, and that's individual, family, and group as necessary, educational support, vocational support, and skill building curriculum. Each youth is provided with an individualized service plan, and the therapeutic foster homes work directly alongside Connections 365 case managers, counselors, mentors, and other staff to implement each client's plan. This is a really awesome cause, and I hope that you will give towards it as you go through the evening. We're gonna to try to move the evening as fast as we possibly can, so when we have people come up, the whole idea is somebody is gonna be representing all the different grassroots groups that are here tonight, and we're gonna ask them to <laughs> give their five minute stump speech. But we wanna move things along, so we don't wanna keep you all night, although I love having you here in Geyser because it does increase the population. If we can do a census tonight, I might get more numbers. But anyway, let's start off with our first person that's going to speak for us. Now, you notice the booth over here on this side? And by the way, throughout the night, and we're going to take a break in the middle, throughout the night you can buy raffle tickets at each, I think every single booth, maybe not everyone, but almost every booth has a raffle, and we'll do the drawing later tonight. So first, I want to, before I introduce the speaker, I want to tell you who's here from Timber Unity. Adam Lardy, is Adam here? Okay, there's Adam. Angelina Sanchez. Is Angelina. And this guy, you don't even have to, you, this, he's the only guy that comes to every room with his cork boots, fenders, and everything. Mike Peel, the legendary Mike Peel. Let me tell you a little bit about Adam. He is a founding member and vice president of the board of Timber Unity. He's a third generation logger and a second generation log truck driver. He's owned his own log hauling company for the past 15 years. Adam is the key organizer of the Let's Roll rally that's coming up. That rally and convoy is coming to the state capitol on February 6th. He is a native Oregonian. Adam is married with one son, Please, would you welcome from Timber Unity, Adam Lardy. If you guys see me limping around, we have snow at our house. My wife told me to clean the snow out of the driveway this morning. I did not listen to her, and I went flying. Please bear with me. I'm not really much of a speaker. Um, the Oregon Republican Party 
Western Liberty, Freedom Believers, Organs for Medical Freedom, Slavic Vote, Organ Fire, Firearms Federation, and of course Timber Unity are here tonight not only to celebrate our grassroots organizations who have been instrumental in defeating horrible, horrible legislation, but to also get to know each other and make relationships that will unite us in our common goal of fighting for a state that we love and live in. Timber Unity is a grassroots and it gets Timber Unity as as a grassroots as it gets, and we are very proud of the fact that we were born out of necessity and grew up rapidly out of urgency to save our way of life. Sorry guys, I'm nervous.